welcome to KidZone. So I wonder if you've seen anything interesting this week. Maybe when you were in the garden or when you were out for a walk, did you see anything interesting? I wonder what it was. Okay, well I've got a game for you and it's called, what is it? And it's a bit of a puzzle. You have to look really carefully and you'll see parts of the picture begin to appear. And you've got to guess what do you think the whole picture is before it's all revealed. And there are four pictures, one after the other. So, what is it? how quickly you guessed what each picture was. In our Bible story, the friends of Jesus were looking carefully and listening too, because they knew that Jesus was alive forevermore because they'd seen him and met him and been with him. But they also knew that Jesus would soon be going back to God. And they knew that Jesus would tell them what they had to do so they were wanting to listen carefully to Jesus and look and see what would happen. So let's hear our story. After Jesus rose from the dead, his disciples saw him many times and in different places. Jesus taught them more about God. They had no doubt that he was the Jesus they had known before his crucifixion. They knew that he was alive. Stay in Jerusalem, he told them. Wait there, because I will send the Holy Spirit to you. Then go and tell people everywhere about me. Teach them everything I have done and said. I promise that I will always be there to help you. The apostles had often heard Jesus talk about the Holy Spirit and how he would come to be with them after Jesus had gone. About six weeks after Jesus rose from the dead, the apostles were with him on the Mount of Olives. When the Holy Spirit comes, you will have power, Jesus said. The whole world will hear about me because you will tell them. You will be my messengers. Then Jesus was covered by a cloud and seemed to rise up and disappear while they stood and stared. Jesus had gone. What are you looking for? asked two angels standing among them. Jesus has gone back to heaven, but one day he will return. The disciples knew that Jesus had gone back to God so they went to Jerusalem to wait and to pray, just as Jesus had said. So Jesus' friends were on their way to Jerusalem to pray. And we're going to have lots of different ways of praying in our 
kids own today. And the first one we need to find some Lego for. So can you go and find some Lego or Duplo and uh, bring it back and we'll make something together. So Jesus told his friends to tell everybody all about his love. And one of the things we're going to do is we're going to pray using our Lego for somebody that we love, a friend or a member of our family who doesn't know God's love yet, that they might get to know it. So I'm thinking of somebody whose name begins with E. So I'm going to make the letter E out of my Lego, but you need to make the letter of that's the first letter of the name of the person you're thinking about. Here I go, I'm going to build it up. And as I build it up, we're gonna say a prayer. We're gonna say, Heavenly Father, may the person that we're thinking of know your love in their life and may you start to build up their faith that they may know you more and more. Amen. Thank you Barbara. Well we can say prayers, we can make prayers, we can sing prayers and we can even use our body to pray. There's so many ways we can praise the Lord and so many ways to say thank you. So stand up, join in the song and definitely don't join in those moves. OK, so we're going to do a song called So Many Ways We Can Praise the Lord. I'm going to show you some of the moves to that song. First of all, can you show me your very best crazy dance? Go for it. Just go crazy. And then can you freeze? Go crazy. That's great. Freeze. Crazy. Freeze. Crazy. Freeze. Freeze. Nah, I'm just, just checking. And then we're going to shout. We're going to shout, I love you. You ready? Oh. I love you! That's so kind of you. I'm touched. We, we are talking about God. But even louder, go. I love you! How loud can you stomp? You ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five. Once more. Look at the person next to you say, you're going to rock. <laughs> Band, take it away. <laughs> Play me some guitar. Oh yeah, let it rock out. Okay everyone, here we go. So many ways we can praise the Lord. Many ways to say thank you. So many ways we can praise the Lord. For being so wonderful. So many ways we can praise the Lord. Many ways to say thank you. So many ways we can praise the Lord. Show me your best crazy dancing. Praise the Lord by dancing, dancing. That's great. Praise the Lord in silence, freeze. Praise the Lord by lifting up our hands to the King of Kings. Praise the Lord by clapping. Hey! Praise the Lord by shouting. I love you! Praise the Lord by stomping. Praise the Lord on drums and guitar too. So many ways we can praise the Lord, many ways to say thank you. So many ways we can praise the Lord for being so wonderful. So many ways we can praise the Lord, many ways to say thank you. So many ways we can praise the Lord. Give me your very best crazy dance, go for Praise it. the Lord by dancing, dancing. Praise the Lord in silence, free. Praise the Lord by lifting up our hands to the King of Kings. Praise the Lord by clapping. Hey! Praise the Lord by shouting. I love you! Hey. Praise the Lord by stomping. Praise the Lord on drums and guitar too. But it's not just about the music. But it's not just about the music. Worship so much bigger than that. It's living lives to show we're thankful. That's the truth. That's a fact. Can you do a freeze? So many ways we can praise the Lord. Many ways to say thank you. So many ways we can praise the Lord for being so wonderful. So many ways we can praise the Lord. Many ways to say thank you. So many ways we can praise the Lord. Here we go. Awesome. 
Well, that was good fun. Sit down and catch your breath. And I've got another game for you. It's called, Who Am I? So you're going to see some pictures of things that people do. An occupation, for instance, a farmer or a dentist. And you've got to look at the pictures and guess, who am I? Are you ready? <laughs> So did you guess everybody? Well, we can make that into a prayer game. And here's what I mean. You know how to play noughts and crosses, I'm sure, where you have to put your nought or your cross into a square and make a line, don't you? Well, here's my noughts and crosses board and in each of the squares, I've put somebody that I want to pray for, like carers or shop workers or hospital staff. And then I want to find someone to play the game with. And we take turns to put down our naught or our cross. And as I do so, I say a little prayer for the person who I've put written in that square. So we can use a game to pray. Now, you could make one of these. You might want to press pause right now and have a go at making one, or you could do it after Kids Own. So now we're going to use some sweets to help us to pray. We know lots of people at the moment, don't we, that need God's love and care. So I've put some sweets on a plate and I'm imagining that each one of these sweets represents one of the people that comes to Kidzone. Okay, all the people that come and join Penelope and I or Ruth on a Sunday morning but you might like to think about all the people in your family, all your friends, people who live down your street, or maybe the people you go to school with normally. Whoever it is, we're going to look at our sweets and say a prayer. So here are my sweets on my plate, and they're in the shape of a heart. I'm going to pour some water on them now very gently and let's see what happens while we wait we're going to say a prayer we're going to say dear God may your love and peace surround the people we're thinking of now in Jesus name Amen and look Surrounding the sweets, there's lots of beautiful colours. Isn't that brilliant? You can have a try at home if you can find some sweets that will work. Well, there are so many different ways that we can pray, aren't there? And this is a really fun way. It's called a rocket prayer. We make a rocket prayer and we can blow the prayer up in the air every time we want to say a prayer to God. Here's how you do it. You need a little piece of paper like this and write your prayer on and then decorate the outside and then just very carefully glue the edges together or you might want to put a little piece of sellotape. So I've got mine with my prayer written inside and decorated on the outside and glued gently together and now put it on the end of my straw ready to send my rocket. Are you ready? And I can do that any time I want to make that prayer. Well, what a lot of ways that we found out we can pray. We can pray to Father God using Lego or Duplo. We can make a knots and crosses board to pray. 
we could use sweets, we could make a rocket prayer. And here's one more thing that you might like to do, is to print off one of these, colour it in and put it in your window to remind other people. Praying's great because God loves us so much and wants to hear those things that are on our heart. And God loves us and cares for us and knows how to answer our prayers best. So I wonder which way that you might choose to pray this week. Well, we're at the end of Kids Zone now. It's been lovely that you can join us and we'll see you again next week. Have a great week. God bless you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye.